Hey everyone, welcome back to Passions and Healing Tarot, or welcome if you are new here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all for more constant content. And always feel free to leave your comments down below. Okay, so as you can see by the title, we are getting back into some more dating questions. Yes, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I'll be linking part one and part two in the description box um, down below here. Now, this is going to be very quick, sweet, and direct because I only have three questions today. No particular order um, here. Um, I have them written on my paper. I honestly probably don't even have to look at the paper because it's going to fly by here. Um, now, for most of you, you're probably going to think these questions are basic, cliche, uh, whatever. Um, but high key, they are very important here, and I would like to share that with you. So, um, the first one, as we have, um, do you see marriage and children? Um, you know, do you see a future with me? Marriage and children, basically. But I really want, I really want this question to be mainly for yourself here in regards to that person or anyone that you ever dealt with in a relationship connection um, of whatever nature. <clears throat> Because you'll come to realize and notice that, you know, it's, it's very rare to actually find, of course, that one, someone you your intuition has told you that you'll be having marriage and children with, someone that you have dreamt marriage and children with, someone that you visualized marriage and children with here. If you take the time out and um, go down the line of the connections or relationships, or even if it was just one, and say, hmm... Actually, I never did have a vision, never felt drawn, never, you know, I was just doing it because I wanted a relationship um, or, you know, I just wanted to try things out, curious, um, etc. Um, and then you also, of course, you do want this to be for your person here too, but it's mainly for you here. Uh, and again, we're doing this in person here, so if you're not a people person, oh well, you're going to be a people person today here, okay? So whether you're going to be sitting across from this person, in front of this person, diagonal, however, um, we, we you got to get that body language. You got to get that reaction. Got to pick up on them signs. So, and then we have, are you looking for a relationship at this time? I know you guys are like, what? Wrong, 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 really? But no, seriously, are you looking for a relationship at this time? You know, because people aren't, most people really aren't. They're just looking for someone to have sexual intimacy with, just looking for a friend because they're lonely, you know, just anything but a relationship, but what you're here for. So you want to make sure you both are there for the same thing here. Are you looking for what I'm looking for? Are you here for what I'm like, are we on the same page? Okay. What's your love language here? Last one. For example, I always do a top three here when I look at love languages here. For me, my top three would be words of affirmation, also known as communication is key. You know, I don't have to talk to my person 24-7 every five seconds of the day, but some constant communication will do me justice. You know, good morning, beautiful here. Good night, you know, beautiful. Look at this meme. I thought this was really funny. How was your day? Did you eat? You know, things like that. Physical touch. You know, I love me a good cuddle, holding hands kissing that and my last for top three would be receiving gifts here you know romance me wine and dine me you know come up with some flowers a card anything that says you were thinking about me and it doesn't have to be expensive here um so that's the top three for me now there are about five to seven different type of love languages here but i'm not really going to go into depth here i just want to um give a little short um example now for me someone who um love language is not physical touch it 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 will be hard to work through for me personally that's something you're gonna have to try to figure out like are you willing to work through with this person being that you guys don't share that um love language here because some of these you'll find that you can mix and match them and you can you could you know wiggle around work around it here and it it'll you'll be fine but some of them is like it's like head two heads just buttoned together for me personally i think physical touch and then no physical touch is just like a head on head collision that's like just rear end you you know it's not for me so you have to figure out is this for me are you for me? <laughs> That's what we want to know here. So 
those were the three here today. I hope you guys really enjoyed that here. Um, if I didn't say before, I'll be linking the other uh, parts down below in the description box. And I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see. Peace.